Hey, that's coming out lovely. You think so, Professor? How much left? Just about to finish. Ouch. What's wrong? My feet hurt. You've been standing for too long, I guess. Mm-hmm. That's due to gravity. It is? Gravity pulls body fluids downward. These collect in the legs. While walking, your muscles contract and push the fluids upwards. Blood circulation is also promoted. While standing, the fluid pressure on your muscles increases, causing pain. I see. So don't stand stationary for too long. Move here and there. Wear comfortable shoes. Give your feet a warm bath in salt water. Uh-huh. Sure, Professor. Such a fine day. Hmm, it's so breezy. I feel like taking a stroll. Let's do it then. Professor, look at those dark clouds. Why are there so many clouds in the sky? Where do these clouds come from? When water on land or in the ocean evaporates, it turns from a liquid to water vapor and rises. The water vapor cools and turns back into a liquid in the shape of tiny droplets. The result is clouds. Unless it's on the ground, then we call it fog. When enough droplets get together, they fall to the ground as rain. Hmm, so it's going to rain shortly. Hmm, but why are these clouds dark? Are all dark clouds rain clouds? Yep, all dark clouds are rain clouds. But why are rain clouds dark, Professor? When the clouds reflect the sunlight completely, as the top of the cloud usually does, they will look white. On the other hand, when the clouds scatter or absorb, the cloud will look gray or dark, depending upon the thickness of the cloud. And it's time to run for shelter already! the sea waves. Let's go! Oh yuck! Seawater is so salty. Seawater is always salty. Why is seawater salty, Professor? Let me explain. As the rains fall and water flows over the land, the water dissolves salt out of the rocks. It washes the salt into streams, then rivers, and finally carries the salt to the sea. The salt stays in the sea as no water flows out of the sea. When seawater evaporates to form clouds, almost all the salt stays behind. The left behind salt slowly collects over a very, very long life. That's how the seas become salty. Now we know how the sea gets salty. Day. What are you drinking? A cold drink. 
heavenly. Can I take a sip? Sure. Mmm, lots of ice makes it so much better. Definitely. But, Professor, I was wondering, why does ice float on water when it's actually heavier? Well, that's because water molecules become longer while forming ice. Water expands, but its mass remains the same, only its volume increases. So, water in the form of ice is less dense, causing the ice to float. Wow! Now I know why icebergs float on water. Achoo! 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 Dog, are you okay? Yes, Achoo! I'm fine. <laughs>